The views and opinions expressed in this content are that of a continuously evolving nature and are subject to change as humanity evolves into higher states of awareness. <laughs> right. At the moment, what is happening at the moment, big time, is they they need the fear to control you, right? So they've, the, one of the big things that they're giving you the fear is climate change or global warming or freezing, whatever. Now, it, what is happening is natural. And it's, the climate has always changed. And, and they, this young lady called Greta, um, when I first saw her sitting outside on her own with this little sign you know, saying that she was concerned about the planet and the, and what was happening. I thought, God, look at that child, you know, how fantastic that she's doing that. But what has happened is she's come, she's, I think they're using her as a, to bring fear to the children. And of course, she's come along and she's got the children to come out on a Friday from not going to school. They're walking through places like London and all over the place saying, we're going to die in 12 years time this is ridiculous this is not going to happen but you see all that fear of the children is is going into the atmosphere and they can control you with that and we've learned this you know that um they need to control you by fear i mean when they create a um you know a war they give you fear look at the this brexit thing it's all, if you, do, if you come out of Europe, this can happen, that can happen. It could. Say one little word, could. When it doesn't happen, they say, well, we only said could, but you miss the could after a while. We keep mentioning could, yeah, could, yeah, could. Yeah. It's like when there's a sale and it will say, up to 50% off. The yes. Money, yeah, it's, that's off. the mind control bit, the could. Yeah. yeah. And, they, and then they drop that one, and then they put something else in its place. And this is what they're doing with the climate change. And if you want to know what's happening with the climate change, follow the money. Who's making a lot of money with it, you know? I mean, if they're that concerned about the climate change, we can have free energy. You know, we don't need the, like, all this, this nuclear, nuclear and all that sort of thing. Because um, Nikola Tesla gave us free energy. Um, you can have cars that run on water. You know, we don't need the oil. So you don't need to have to fight for it. You know, in, in different countries, they, you know, it's all to do with big money. And, um, you know, it's once you start seeing and reading what they're doing, um, it's like all of a sudden you can see, through. you know, it's like, well, for instance, my son, Peter, when he went to France, he had to learn French. And it took him a long time to learn French. But one day he came home and he said, you know, Mum, I can now speak French. I said, well, you've been t speaking French for a while. No, he said, I didn't speak French until I wasn't put each word with English. He said, now I'm speaking and I don't think of the English. Now I'm fluent in, in French. And once you could do that, and it's a bit like when you drive a car, you know, when you first get in the, and you've passed your test, you're thinking of your legs and you're looking there and, and you know, you're thinking of, of the drive all the way. You, you know, but now, after thousands of times of doing it, you don't even think about it. You, you just automatically do it. That's when you become a driver. Yeah, yeah. That's when you really, are, you know, so it's like that with life. And um, so it, it's just don't have the fear. Don't fall for it, people. Yeah. Really don't fall for it because it's you're being controlled to go down a certain avenue, just like a farmer with his sheep will put a, the sheep into the pen. He uses a dog to, you know, he just whistles to the dog and the dog put, takes the sheep and pushes it into a pen. There's only one dog. Why do the sheep let the dog do that? We do that. They don't need many people to control us. Only, Hardly any. There's only one black sheep. Yes. And the thing is that don't be sheep. It's time to stop being like that. And... Um, Grow up, like the outer world has said to us, grow up humans. So why are they trying to control us, do you think? Well, because they want to keep, the, the, it's for money and power. Mm. They want to have the good life, so-called. And they want you working like slaves without chains. That's why you go to school, you go to school to learn a lot of stuff that you don't even need. Mm. 
you know. And yet you get somebody, I mean, you, for example, you know, James Martin, you know, he has become very, very wealthy through doing cooking. But he didn't need to know about geography. If he's interested in geography, he can go on the internet and find anything about geography or history. But if he'd have been at school and been taught to, for cooking and all about flavours and spices and all that, he would have been in his element, would have loved it. You know, so if they take the children and they find out what that child is interested in, right, if they're artists, let them do art. You know, they don't need to do physics and what have you. So we put all this pressure on the kids to pass exams, which gets them all, they're, they're very unhappy doing this, you know, and what a waste of their childhood when they should be playing out in the sunshine, a lot of them. You know, we, we, we ruin children's lives going to school, learning a lot of stuff that they'll never need. The whole system is wrong. And then they take the students that go to university and, and steal all the money off them, make them pay all this money back. You know, and... Pfft. Yeah. Well, of course, the drugs and everything, they don't want you to know about that. Um, yes. Well, the main thing with, with, with that particular plant is because it heals you and they don't want you to know about it. That's the main thing. And then, of course, it does two other, other things. This is hemp, of course. It's the most incredible plant on this planet and uh, it makes clothes. Um, Terry Waite, who was, um, I believe, I've heard this, I don't know whether it's true, um, but uh, apparently he has a house and everything is hemp in his house, apart from his cooker and things. But his carpets, it, the house itself is made from hemp. Mm -hmm. And um, apparently his um, bedding, his bed, his furniture, everything is hemp. Mm -hmm. You know, because I think he believed in it. Um, I'm sure I've got the right name. I may apologise if I haven't. But uh, it does make sense to me that you can do that. And, um, do you think every natural thing on the earth is here for a reason? Yes, and it's here to help us. To, to build our houses, to for our food, for our medicine, and Mother Earth doesn't cheat you. When you put a carrot in the in the ground, and you you know a seed of the carrot, it comes up as a carrot. It doesn't come up as a potato. You know, it, she doesn't cheat you. She doesn't lie. And have you ever thought? I mean, I thought one day if you took twelve crocus bulbs, and every the first day of the month you put a crocus bulb into a certain part of, of the earth in your garden all together, what happens to the, all those crocus bulbs? You put them in different times of the year. What happens to them? They all come up at the same time when they're supposed to come up. They won't come up in August. They won't come up in another... They will come up when they're supposed to because the earth is at the right temperature, the sun is the right temperature. And, it, it, you know, so if we were to follow the natural things like that, that we, you know, like if you put cigarette smoke into your body, it's not going to do you any good. But this is what we do. The cro crocus bulb is so intelligent that it comes up at the right time and it doesn't do anything wrong. <laughs> we're the ones that do the wrong, and yet we think we're so bright. We're not. We've got to stop being what we are, and yet we're still creator gods because we're allowing ourselves to go down the dark path of things rather than the light. But alcohol is one of the yeah, most alcohol. drugs at the moment. Yeah. It's also the most dangerous drug. Mm. And that's been promoted still. Well, one of the things that I would like to say is I'm 80 years old and I've never taken a drug from the doctors mm -hmm. for look, quite a long time, for at least 50 years. Before then, I didn't know all this. But something told me not to. I never took the pill. I never, I never took the patches when they came out. And... I very had very little, it was only tiny because I was never ill, hardly. But I've never taken that, so I never had any side effects. So I don't bring a box out every night at my age. I started with one tablet, which gave me, t gave me side effects to another, to another. And the amount of people that do that at my age, that I haven't cost the, the National Health Service anything because I'm never ill. Mm -hmm. I've got arthritis, that's all. I don't take headache pills or anything. I just go, I just, I just don't do it. But I do take vitamins, 
lots of vitamins. Um, I am, you know, very in a lot of pain. I can't do a lot of things because of my arthritis. And I'm quite handicapped, but I don't get ill. I haven't had a headache for at least 50 years. And I don't spend money on that, but the money I do spend is on good vitamins. And I was very fortunate one day because I met a gentleman called Philip Day and we went to his talk and he knows all about the vitamins and everything. And he gives talks, he's the most marvellous man. And, um, and he goes all around the world talking. And when he goes to Australia, he can get 10,000 people go to see him. When he comes to England, he gets about 25 to 30 people see him because we don't talk about it on the television, you know? We're very ignorant in this country about things like that. But my advice to most people, if you can avoid taking drugs that will give you side effects, you know, try and find an alternative of medicine from the planet because it's all out there. A native Canadian Indian said to a lady once, we don't pass on to the next generation something that doesn't work. Mm. Wise words. And the great creator, which is God, has created all the medicine on this planet. Mm. Yes. Thank you.